I literally have just booked a ticket to go to Istanbul. Great book. Cheers, thank you. Never been to Istanbul, never really wanted to go to Istanbul. Hi, hi, hi, hi, hi. But the good thing about Istanbul is Istanbul never sleeps. Uh, Duran last night said, I'm going to see my family, do you want to go? How would you say chocolate croissant? You're too lucky, get him. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> my ticket, I need to be at the airport in 45 minutes. Mashallah, mashallah. I actually asked my dad, I said, Dad, I'll okay, go Turkey. He goes, wonderful place, son. Just met Hasbullah in Istanbul. Um, I'm going to be vlogging while I'm away, so it's a business trip. See if the accountants agree with that. Hoş geldiniz Asya'ya. Diren Kartal ve James Smith vlogging İstanbul'da. I'm currently at the airport. Diren was very late. I literally booked the flight at 10:18 when I needed to be at the airport for 10:55. So I had 25 minutes to pack. There you go. Ah, thank you so much. Oh, no worries. No worries. What do you well, want? Taking you to the motherlands. The motherlands. It's gonna be good. Bro. Literally, you got here what? 45 minutes? I literally got here. It's perfect time. We're gonna land in the evening in Istanbul. But the good thing about Istanbul is Istanbul never sleeps. Uh, how would you say hello? Merhaba. And how would you say thank you? Teşekkürler. How would you say chocolate croissant? Yutunu sikerim. No, I'm joking. <laughs> if you were to live there, traffic, people, madness, laws. There is no fucking laws. And I'm so excited for you to see it, bro. You're going to understand me more when you see Turkey. Uh, B48, wasn't it? B48. Yeah. Salam alaikum. My name is James. Hello. I'm from the UK. And if you think about history, like, everyone's, everything's been through that area, bro. Everything. I mean, sapiens, man. I'm an educated man. Does the white man get taken advantage of? Yes, every man will get taken. Every man would get taken up advantage of if you're not street smart. So what I mean by that is, if something is a pound, it's not a pound, my friend. It's probably about thirty fucking p. Hello, sir. Great uh, book. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> Hi there, how are you? Hello. All good. Stay humble. We're gonna be smoking shisha, looking at the Bosporus. Where is the Bosporus? The Bosporus is the connects between Asia and Europe, the bridge. There's a couple of bridges. So I'm gonna be in Europe looking at Asia. What a passage, sorry. What currency do they use? What? Uh, Turkish lyrics. TL. You ate my fucking crisps. I was asleep. He ate my fucking crisps. I woke up and I was, I woke up, I was like this when I was in my sleep. I was so excited because I saw a fucking trolley and he ate my fucking crisp. And there's no more snacks left on the flight. I lived in Turkey when I was 16 years old. I was playing football there. Went there every summer, pretty much all my life. So tonight, I'm gonna show Smith like, let's say like the bougie part of Istanbul. The day after, I'm gonna take him to my family, my grandparents. I'm even gonna show him that my family technically squatted before building, a, before building a building. Julie here ate my crisps. That's Julie. She ate my crisps. I'm addicted to Better Call Saul. I don't care who knows. Better Call Saul. It's a spin-off of Breaking Bad. You seen Breaking Bad? No, I've never seen it. You and I are over. Get the get the row in, like, row 30. Do I look humble? Show you humble. <laughs> Where's the fucking? He's not six foot four. Doesn't Andrew Kate say he's 6'4"? Does he not say that? It's 2 in the morning, it's maybe later than 2 in the morning. We are in the Shangri-La in Istanbul and we need to talk about this. I just met Hasbulla. Just met Hasbulla in Istanbul. We just met Hasbulla. If you were to create a list of people that you want to meet in the world, Hasbulla's on it. I don't care who you are, but let's, let's, let's rewind the story a little bit here. We went to Nuzret. <laughs> Oh my days. Anyone else got a phone now? <laughs> on a whim, because one of your footballer mates messaged you, put us on the guest list. We had the we best. The queue. Went to the front of the queue, so we're like, we're riding on a high, right? Yeah. Then we get a sick table, 
and we have the golden burger and the golden tomahawk. And when we looked at the price menu, we couldn't believe it. Our meal. <laughs> Our meal costs less than what most steaks do in the other restaurants. It was cheaper to fly out here and have Nusret than go to Nusret in London. We get out, we're feeling a bit full, we're like, let's walk it off a bit. Let's walk it off. How far is the walk back to the hotel? Oh, hour and 20 minutes. Hour. hour and 20 minutes, more than that, yeah. yeah you're right, you're right. Most people would shy away from it, like, oh, it's a bit far to walk. Yeah. Not us, we're like, we're athletes, right? So we're walking back, stop off here, have a little look here, have a little look there. Dieran, should you get a bottle of water? Yeah, stay hydrated. We're walking, and Smith was like, he pointed to the left and he goes, is that, is that? And I looked over, he went Hezbollah. I said, that's fucking Hezbollah. I ran, I didn't run, well, I was pretty quick. I moved as quick and as subtly as possible because these security guys were, he died to be fair, you went straight in for the kill. Yeah. <laughs> so I was a bit like, eh, eh, just, eh, eh, eh. and I look and Duran's just gone in. Next thing I know, Duran's got a selfie. Has Bullers given consent? He's, he's, these guys next to him were mad. They were like protecting him. They're obviously fucking Khabib looking motherfuckers that will take you double leg you like there's no tomorrow. But look to Hezbollah, I said, is it okay for a photo? He gave me the. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to take the photo, but he was actually, he was quite sound considering. Yeah, mate. Imagine being him though. Like, Oof. have you, I've never reacted like that to someone in my nah, life. Nah, never. Nah. And have if, you, no? Nah, never. I uh, sound Burgess. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> we went home tomorrow. Oh, we got to, we got to Istanbul when it was dark. The sun hasn't come up yet and it's already been one of the favorite trips of my life. <laughs> yes. Yeah, man. He's tiny, by the way. He's very small. Like, he's small. He's like, not even on the size of my quad. My quad's not that big. We met Hezbollah yesterday, bro. How jealous are you that we met Hezbollah? I'm fuming. I'm actually angry that you met him and I didn't. What what would you what would you have done if you'd met Hezbollah? Probably for starters, I'd have shit myself and then I'd have picked him up and hugged him and then been taken away by the Russian mafia, I imagine. If I bump into him again. I can't believe it. He looks so he looks just so like little and, and cute. He's a prick going around punching people, but he looked well cute. Uh, if I bump into him today, which I probably will because he's my mate, what shall I say to him? Um, can you put him on your shoulder like a parrot and a pirate? Can you do that? Take a photo like that, please. Alright. Welcome home. <laughs> so if anyone wants to come to Istanbul in October. We're in October. Fuck. We're in October. And look at the weather. I'm hungry, man. It's like being at my mum and dad. <laughs> so first day around turkey i actually packed quite light i didn't take the camera but it's mad found a rolex for 12 quid went around all the markets we've done a lot of steps today let me check Can you see that? Can you see this? 21,300 steps so far today, Darren. Now we are on our way to Darren's family home that he's never been to. Boy, in COVID, I've never been. I've never been. It's cheaper than my car. <laughs> in COVID, I bought a flat in Istanbul. My parents needed a flat. Launched Project X, I was doing all right. I was absolutely buzzing. Bought my, bought my parents a, a flat in Turkey. Cheap as chips, like. 40 or 50k or something for a fucking flat in Istanbul. Unfucking real. And now we're going there. I've never been. Um, there's a balcony, so I think me, Smith, and my dad will probably smoke a cigar tonight. So that one's that one will take us to Kadiköy. That's where we're gonna go tonight. It's a nice little funky part of town. 
I'll say it's almost like the cool Camden vibe, drinks, bars, and all that stuff. We're gonna go tonight with my mum and my dad. We're going to Uskudar, which is where I used to live when I was 17, when I was playing football here at Besiktas. Besiktas, yeah, you know, decent footballer, man. Uh, so we're gonna go there, get a cab home, see what my mum and dad are saying, chill out a little bit, maybe get an hour of chill time. Hoş geldiniz Asya'ya, Diren Kartal ve James Smith vlogun'a İstanbul'da 30 saat İstanbul'dayız. 48 saat kalacağız, geri Londra'ya döneceğiz. Teşekkürler. There's one of our boats and we're running late. Yeah, so, so this is every day. Every day I used to travel back and forth there when I was playing football here. And I would see like the same boats guys, oh did on health training and this and that. It's like everyone here it's all about community innit? So now we're in Europe, we're heading to Asia with this big boy here. And it only takes like 20 minutes or so, you guys are gonna get an amazing view of the bottom. Back in the day, innit? You know what's crazy? Nostalgia. That's 14 years ago. 14, no. 14 years ago when I was 16. What the fuck? We're getting old, bro. Why haven't we got kids? <laughs> Why are we not married? What did you think by the time you were 30? Like, what were you, what were you, where do you think? I'm not gonna lie, I thought I, thought I would've I'd been playing over there. <laughs> yeah, <I'll, laughs> I, thought, I thought I would've been playing over there. I wouldn't have been able to get on the boat because I would've been too famous. <laughs> None of that happened, bro. <laughs> I thought I'd have it all figured out then. Yeah. And I don't. Bought a few books though, you're doing alright bro. Yeah, we've done you're doing alright. All right. This is the thing, when you want to get big on YouTube, people just think you're a narcissistic bellend. We are. <laughs> Where are we heading to? Uskudad. Uh, Uskudad. Which is Asia side. Uskudad. So you haven't seen your parents in three months, four months? Proper fucking Turkish neighborhood, isn't it? Oh yeah, I haven't seen my parents in ages, man. So we're in a proper Turkish neighborhood. Apparently this is my flat. Merhaba dedim abla aynı. Aşağıdayım ben ama anki ev bilmiyorum. Anne! Şşt! Hop! Yok yok sağ ol. Ha burada. Merhaba! Aliye! I don't even know the code to my own house, bro. I bet there's no lift. Bak kod neydi kod? Kod ne? Kod, kod ne? Yıldız. Kaçıncı kat? Nasıl? Hello, hello. Welcome, you're welcome. Very good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Oh, nice, okay. Bilen onları buraya bırak. Teşekkürler. Bana ver, gel. Nasıl? Merhaba. Merhaba. Aliye. Oh. Continental. Yeah. I forgot. Talk me through some of this stuff. The pickles. Uh, these are pickles, man. This is like proper pickles. So you know all these fucking Western fuckers having probiotics and shit. You want to see a probiotic? This. If your if your gut can handle that, you can handle anything. It's pretty much just sugar. Yeah. Uh, one of the different ones. Uh, That's sweet. You want to try it? So nice. Can we have a little bit? Yeah. Oh, all of them. Yeah. You take it all of them. No you problem. Take them. Is your one? I wasn't mad on these. These are a little bit. Mad. That's like a that's like a wild fruit. Yeah, these though, this is the brown bread. Like brown bread, butter, taste that. That's good. Taste your cooler. Be really sweet. Is it sweet? Mmm. That is a nice one. Have you poo? Huh? Yeah, yeah, it will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will. So, all of this would. The tomatoes especially. Show them the tomatoes. Look at this. That is crazy. And this is... This is aubergine. the... Aubergine. Aubergine, yeah. Real, to give you guys... Real aubergine. Real tomato. You know, see all the shit that you lot, all you hippies that go to Hackney and Stoke Newington to them fancy shops. What size is that compared to my head? Oh, sorry, hair. Yeah. But are you a good price? <laughs> me, oh, is that lavender? Is it smell lavender? Smell oh my god, that's it's good. Yeah, lavender, yeah. Yeah, lavender, yeah. You leave that on the pillow. Yeah, yeah anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pillow. Yeah, yeah. Pillow. yeah. yeah. yeah. yeah. yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. That's shop, yeah. I was joking as well. <laughs> Five Star Hotel, mate, what are you talking yeah. about? Do it taste like being a child? Watch, yeah, yeah, watch when the cheese comes. Cheese. What's this? Uh, that's more pickles. Pickles. <laughs> what's this? Yo. People in the village, yeah, they make what they can with like with what they have. Come look at this. Dried, dried apple. Apple. Dried apple. Yani bunu kurutuyorlar, hoşaf yapıyorlar, kışın içiyorlar. So you can, they dry that up. They make like sweet tea from it in the winter. Mm. So basically they take all the summer fruit in the village, 
they dry it all up and they save it to have throughout yani the winter. İnsanlar eskiden dolap yokken bu tür şeyleri kurutup kışın yiyorlar. So back in the day when they didn't have fridges in their village, they will turn around and dry all this up, keep it somewhere cool, and then heat it up. Eti However, de öyle yapıyorlar. Same with me, same with me. Evet, hayvanları kesiyorlardı da. İpleri asıp kurutuyorlardı, kışın yiyorlardı çünkü dolap yoktu eskiden. They would cut the meat up, they would cut the animals up, they would hang them, let them dry. You know how they have them steakhouses, but pretty much like that, but in like a village style, and then eat it in the winter. Man bring food! Badem şeker. Badem şeker. That means sausage. Duran's been saying to me for ages, you gotta try tomatoes in Turkey from the village, and today I tried them. Yes! Bring the camera. This is real cheese! Real cheese from the village. Oh, wait, wait. Why? <laughs> She's giving him shit. She, he, she goes, Hi there. Biraz bana ben. He goes, Why couldn't 5% of you be like me? Shit. Um. Get your coin. But, I'm Nah. Yeah. But, put a shame. Real cool. From the village. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Man. That's not body in there. They like uh, and I like this. Your parents were built for a vlog. Yeah. Oh you. Oh. Um, What's happened to it? Someone's had a good bar. time with it. Bar. You came here and you showed it Don't worry, mum. Yeah. Taste it if you want. It's bar. It's pure bar. It's salty because it needs to protect it. Mm, no, I like that. It's good. Mm. Mm. Mmm! Yeah. Yeah, someone did have a good time though. Kaynatırız akşam. Someone might watch this video and then be like, I need you guys to ship a direct route to the UK and they probably need a supply. Someone in Hackney. Yeah. It's crazy, you know what's crazy? They get like. Çiftlik alın sana iyi bir He goes, why don't you come to buy a farm? <laughs> but see, like, this sort of stuff, like, these small things for these sort of cultures go way further than most of you guys for Louis Vuitton bags. Most of us. <laughs> Most of us. No, I mean, they love this shit, bro. They love yeah. the cheapest chips. Huh? Have you tried the cheese? The cheese. Do you want me to try it? Um, on its own, yeah, go on for the vlog. That's a lot. Do you want to go halves? Just buy it, yeah, you buy, buy it. Buy you buy it half. I'll take the second half. Mm. It'll taste a little bit. It's like halloumi. Yeah. Good. I like it's halloumi. Yeah, it's good. Ah. The brown bread. Is there any tomato left outside? Yeah, but it's okay. I've had a lot of that. Have you? Smash that. You want half or just No, you go. Smash it. Tastes good. It's good, isn't it? So like, this will survive my parents' breakfast for a very long time. You know what I mean? Mm. So I just get hungry. And this is tomato. Who's Nando's? I'm real. What do we have here? Breakfast. <laughs> Sujuk. Duran's mum's known for a fantastic spread and an even better. Don't you fucking dare. And an even better breakfast. I'll tell my dad, bro, he'll get the shotgun out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you don't mess with the cartels, or here's what will happen to you. I'll put a clip in from yesterday. I mean, if you want to take my daughter out on a date, that's, that's absolutely fine, mate. I mean, you, you take care of her on that date, you know. Not that I'm going to threaten you or anything, but if you don't look after my daughter on that date, they'll be able to pay. Just going to wrap up our Istanbul vlogs. I'm off to the airport shortly, but it's been good. It's been, it's been fun. I'm glad you came to the motherland. I'm glad yeah, you came to the motherland. And if you guys want to come to the motherland, please subscribe to www.touristswithdirancartel.com. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Make sure you like and subscribe. Tune in, because the adventure never ends. It's been good having you here, bruv. It's been good, it's been good. Dad, any closing remarks? So talk me through the ultimate breakfast. We obviously got football okay. on the background. Yeah, football. Football's always on in the background. We've got fried eggs made with real but fresh butter, actually, from the village. And eggs from the village. You've got sujuk as well. Fresh tomatoes, straight from the ground, brother. Straight from, not on the ground, but you know what I mean. Um, freshly made cheese from the village as well. You've got olives. Uh, there's always olives. Turks, there's always olives. Side dish. You've also got uh, peppers as well. Usually there's lemon and olive oil in that, but my mum ran out of lemon, so she couldn't do that there. But 
if you look at it, it is a lot of food, but if you take bits of it, if you have a look, it's all healthy stuff, really. You got some protein, you got some fats, and you got loads of veg. And this is really like a traditional Turkish slash Kurdish breakfast, yeah. And obviously tea and homemade bread. Homemade bread. Homemade bread. You like it, this bread? Welcome, James. Thank you for coming to my house. Uh, you are a nice person. Thank you very much. Good luck to your life, your business, for everything. Thank you for support, support my team, uh, I'm a sport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sponsoring the kit. I'll monzo you the money now, so that it's legit. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.